This is to introduce you to my new LaserMaster 3 workstation that I built in my workshop. The workstation is built into what was a recess for, I think, probably an old range cooker. The working section of the bed is separate from the rest of the shelf and can be raised or lowered using an old reclining chair mechanism. The advantage of this is that um, I can put my uh, rotary roller onto the bed and raise or lower it according to the height of whatever it is I want to etch. Also, anything else that I want to etch, which is of any bulk, which includes wooden bowls that I make, can be um, set at the correct height very easily. The, uh, we've got various little add-ons around, a small fan to blow the smoke away, pump at the back to provide air assist. Uh, I have a honeycomb grid on the right there, and you can see my rotary roller on the shelf. The speed at which the platform goes up and down is controlled by this small box which has a speed control, two switches. One on the left moves the platform up and down, and the one on the right moves the platform forwards and backwards. Just a quick look at the mechanism, which is, there are two mechanisms from an old reclining sofa. The one you're looking at on the left moves the mechanism forwards and backwards. Here's the, laser, here's the bed of the laser returning to its normal position after it's dropped away. I have etched the bed of the laser with a grid to make placing items easier and also the markers for camera alignment. Two little pads of uh, MDF on the right just ensure that the bed returns exactly to the same height. This is my air assist pump small fan and the rotary roller which can just be taken off the shelf and plonked onto the bed. Switch moved, it's ideal the small fan to blow the smoke away. What you're looking at here just over the uh, honeycomb grid is the index chuck that I use to etch bowls and this is the control unit for it um, uh, I will have a short video at the end of this showing how I use this this is the uh, index chuck in place on the table and as you can see it can be lowered to whatever height I need which makes it very easy to etch the rims of bowls, wooden bowls that I make. Here it is on back on the way up. Here's the honeycomb bed in place, uh, making it very easy to etch whatever it is I have on its surface. So thick or thin items can be put at exactly the right height without having to mess about with the laser head itself. And I can ensure that it's always consistent. This is the column on which the bed is supported. Inside is the um, mechanism that I've removed from an old reclining chair. Boxing it up helps maintain its stability. Um, as most people, I guess, I run the software on Lightburn. It, it is um, running on a Microsoft Surface, which has a very small screen. I think I will need to upgrade that to make uh, Lightburn easier to work with. And here's the etcher working on the rim of a small bowl that I've made. Um, 
the bulb will be moved by the indexing mechanism so that I can repeat the pattern however many degrees. I think this is repeated every 20 degrees. So the bulb moves 20 degrees, patterns repeated. Very useful for etching bulbs. And here it's running at five times speed. I guess if you're bored, you can switch off now. And here's the finished bowl rising off the bed. Thanks for watching. I hope this will have been of some interest to you. As ever, please send comments or questions to me. I will leave my email address at the end.